Hello students. Welcome to week one of EDUC 630. Um, this is our first lecture for week one. Um, today we're going to discuss what mathematics mean and what the history of um, the reform that has taken place in the United States uh, since the early late 1950s. Um, a lot of changes have been made due to various events and so we want to um, analyze these specific events in order to understand why we teach the student um, mathematics the way we do and what we need to think about when teaching mathematics in the secondary classroom. So let's define mathematics. When we usually define mathematics, uh, we think about numbers, uh, lines, shapes, um, computing numbers. And so um, a concise definition of mathematics is a science of pattern and order. And so when you think of mathematics as a science of pattern and order, you will help um, you as a teacher can begin to teach your students mathematics. And we're going to discuss how we can help our students understand and practice and use mathematics. So your students will need to search and develop patterns and relationships as they study mathematics. It is um, very important to provide opportunities for your students to study, discover, and event, invent many different types of patterns while they are um, in the process of learning and knowing mathematics. Um, also, you want to make sure that students um, need to participate in active mental activities and examples of these activities are conducting experiments, um, participating in discovery learning, using manipulatives to understand a certain skill and to further understand um, a mathematical concept, participating in um, discussion, whether this is whole group, small group, or even um, with a partner, and also the use of technological tools um, in order to understand and, and a concept and also practicing skills. Um, we will discuss each of these activities further throughout the course and searching for patterns also promotes the skills of problem solving and uh, also creating those problems. And this goes beyond the former views of um, arithmetic, which is generally rules and algorithms. And we will discuss more about uh, what happened with arithmetic while discussing uh, the history of mathematical reform. So now we're going to go through the history of uh, mathematics education in the United States. Uh, your, the course textbook did talk about these events, but I just wanted to briefly touch on each event so that you could understand how um, the events made an impact in today's mathematics education. So in 1927, the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics uh, created a yearbook and it was discussing the problems that we had in teaching mathematics. In, um, you know, there was that saying um, reading, writing, and arithmetic. Well, what happened to this arithmetic? And we found that middle school mathematics did not make sense to these students. Uh, they, it was just simply memorizing facts. Um, the process was confusing. The students did not understand the process. They were not able to explain it, and the tools that they were using were confusing. Um, it was they didn't. Teachers were not allowing students to explore and practice uh, different types of tools to uh, manipulate and to use to come up with um, the answers, and also the um, situ. The problems that the students were given were not applicable to real world situations. Um, so now, almost 90 years later, mathematics reformers are continuously investigating ways to make mathematics real, relevant, and logical to our students. So what is our focus now? So what is our focus now in 
today's mathematics education. Um, we want to investigate ways to make mathematics real, relevant, and logical to students. We want to show students that they can use math in their daily lives, whether it's now in the classroom, outside of the classroom, and also later on uh, when they go to college or in the workforce. Uh, sometimes we'll hear our students say, why do we need to know this? Why is this important right now? And so we have to help make that connection, um, help them discover the connection between in the classroom and outside the classroom. And we also want to provide high quality instruction through student engagement and inquiry while helping them understand uh, the relation of mathematics in and outside of the classroom. So we're going to talk about an, a specific era in during this um, mathematics reform. Um, before the teachers lectured on how to solve a problem, they showed it step by step and the students had to memorize the steps and how to solve um, computational problems. And they also completed worksheet after worksheet after worksheet. However, the students did not understand how they could apply this knowledge and skills outside of the classroom. And so therefore, they didn't enroll in um, majors where mathematics was um, a major part of the curriculum, or they did not, the students did not um, apply apply for jobs where mathematics and science um, were used. And so NASA and the non-governmental companies had a difficulty hiring students because of um, hiring graduates because these students did not have strong math skills that engineers or scientists um, needed. And so in 1975, um, Soviet Union launched um, Sputnik, which is the um, first satellite to orbit the Earth. And the United States was in an uproar about this because we felt that we were behind and that we needed to, um, there was this urgency to have a better education in mathematics, science, and foreign language. And also the United States were fearful that we may be in danger because the Soviet Union was advanced in their technology and um, the Soviet Union was a former foe of um, the US so therefore the US had a um, had a strong push towards um, a strong education in the mathematics science and foreign language fields <laughs> 